unsorted or uncompressed. Uh, so those are some pictures. Let me show you also. Um, you can attach YouTube videos. So if you just attach the YouTube link, the link only, then you'll uh, it'll automatically post that YouTube video. That's awesome. Uh, we can also do I'm gonna go song project MP3s. If you attach a, a MP3 as an attachment, okay, or an MP3 link, it'll automatically and you can play it actually from the browser, and then you can actually hear it from there. Okay, so uh, some other cool things. If you attach a Word document, you can automatically have a Word document attached into it right there. Um, let's say you don't want to use YouTube. Well, you can actually attach a video file to your email and it'll automatically open up um, into a video f uh, format in Postris. Okay? Um, if it doesn't recognize the file, it'll look like this. So this is an Illustrator file. It doesn't uh, recognize illustrators so I can download it though and then they can recognize it. Uh, let me show you a couple other ones. I emailed a PowerPoint and so this is a PowerPoint that you can actually just view um, online and then you can also embed HTML code and this was a uh, um, embed code that I did from Prezi that's up there. Okay so those are a lot of different types of formats that are really helpful and so all you do is hit send after about a minute, you go back to your posturus and hit refresh, and boom, it'll be there. Now, for your assignment, I want you to, when you set up your uh, Twitter, make sure you set up those services, to, uh, Twitter and Picasa, and link those. But what I also want you to do is set up is, by the way, if you want to add multiple blogs, like uh, you can hit, create a new posturus if you want to do more than one but you can also add um, posts from here if you click post by web okay you can actually uh, post things a little bit nicer okay you have all these options of bold and font and things and you can post it here and then here's your posting options for your tags and your media as you can attach files so that's another way to post if you don't like posting from your email you can do it that way see uh, but what what I wanted to draw your attention to is under your settings okay here's your name for your name you can just put um, your name so you don't have to put your user ID you can just put your name and then for the subtitle you can just put something creative you know something just unique about yourself or something that'll make us laugh or smile and uh, if you don't want it uh, public you can um, click password and then you would just contact me and let me know your password so that I can uh, have it and control it but um, I don't suggest it I mean if you can just keep it open um, so you can help others but if you, here's add contributors if you have more if it gets a group project and you're posting on one thing uh, but what I want you to go to is settings and theme and customize my site uh, I'm actually gonna limit you guys a little bit. I'm gonna. I want you to choose this one. It's uh, para mamlo, something like that. Okay. So choose that one, but you do get to customize it on the left side. Hit customize, and you can choose the color. So if you don't like that blue and you want to go, let's say purple, or if you want to go um, green, you can hit OK and change that top bar. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, if you want to create an image, a uh, header image, that's fine, but it's more advanced, so you don't have to do that. For tweet button, yes, enable tweet, retweet. What that means is if you click it, it'll automatically tweet that article uh, to that. Uh, for options, post per page, don't put 10, let's put 100. Okay, and so we're done with that. When you're all finished, um, it all automatically saves it for you, so you don't have to worry about it saving. Okay, and then uh, we're oh, actually, we're actually gonna on the bottom right, you're gonna put save. I'm done. Okay, so it doesn't automatically save it. So on the bottom right, uh, just get save. I'm done, and then you'll have your template. Now, another thing I like about Posturus is how easy the comments are. Sometimes I'll say, Hey, go comment on someone's work, and you'll give some like helpful. 
uh, ways that they can either improve next time or what you liked about it. Uh, I use comments a lot for my grading or helping guiding you uh, with your projects and your checkpoints. Uh, so if you just click on comment under someone's comment and then you just uh, leave your comment and make sure that it's appropriate, you know, and then if you click leave this click, email me when a new uh, comment is added and I hit comment, it'll automatically email me when the next person commented. So if I leave you a comment here, you can comment back and I'll automatically receive an email and I'll know when you commented on that. So that's helpful to know. Uh, another thing that's helpful to know is, uh, remember I showed you how to upload photos? Uh, as attachments onto your posturus. So this is something I made in Illustrator. So let's say I was making this and you know it's kind of like just a rough draft. I just want to like post it to posturus, just a picture of it. A lot of times I'll say uh, post a picture and a file of it. Okay, so I already have it, the file saved but let's say I just want to get a print screen of it. Uh, on a Mac if you hold on the command shift and then 4 okay, then you'll get this little a uh, bullseye looking thing and you can uh, put a box actually around what you want it to screen capture so if I just want to screen capture uh, technology and design I let go okay I go to my desktop and it will uh, the default will label it like picture three and if I do another one picture four and then picture five and then if I look hey that's what it looks like and so I can actually attach that uh, to my um, email when I send it to Posturus or I could just insert it directly into Posturus. Now the default when it saves it is a PNG file when I do that uh, print screen. If you are using a PC, okay, when you do a print screen on a PC um, I really like to use download.com. It's a, a free uh, way that you can get programs. Most of them are like trials, but it's uh, they have this really good one for PC only called Gadwin Print Screen. Uh, what I did in my search is I just searched for print screen and it's the first one. And if you go to Gadwin Print Screen and then you can just go ahead and download that. It'll basically, and then you install it and then you can uh, tell it what shortcut you want and it's actually it works very very similar to command shift 4. I actually have a PC at home I always do my, my I'm a switch hitter like in baseball uh, at work here I do P Mac and at home I do PC so uh, I do use the Gadwin it's really good. Another cool feature I like about uh, Posturus is my subscriptions. Now um, I, f I know a lot of students they use Tumblr and I like the features of Tumblr like you can uh, subscribe to different uh, people's tumblers and it actually serves as a feed and it's a really good concept. Uh, the reason why we're not using Tumblr in this class is because you can't make comments and it's really limited in terms of the ability and manipulation that you can edit your posts. Um, but it's very popular I think because of the style of um, a feed. But basically if you have certain people um, like I have this you can click on here, get updates, and then you can click subscribe. Okay, just like Christine's. Actually, I subscribed. I can click here. It'll say subscribe, and you click subscribe. And then when you go to your uh, your own Posturus account, okay, click on my subscriptions, or you can go to posturus.com forward slash reader, and it'll basically uh, put in all the like uh, latest articles that they've posted. So let's say tomorrow I check back and if they posted anything new it will automatically be in this feed and I can go in and see all the people that I've subscribed to in their feeds. So it's a really good feature of like keeping up with friends and what they're posting without actually having to go to each one of their uh, posts. So that's uh, helpful information. And then you know how it says the dates here, May 26, 2010? Uh, this is US time. Uh, right now they're not uh, made in different uh, countries, but they said they're close to adding that as a feature. But um, in terms of how I check to see the time and day that you sent it, um, I check the, tw the your Twitter because when you post something, it automatically goes to Twitter as well. And usually Twitter takes five minutes or ten minutes, so make sure that you post in advance. And so then I'll check your tw tweets to see the time and the date stamp that's there. And if that's not there, then I'll check your email and your sent email, which you're never supposed to delete any of your email, and then you should be good to go. So yeah, Postures is awesome.